have been asked over and over to do kind of a all-in-one place list of our favorite gluten-free, dairy-free foods, and so I am going to do that right here, but I need to start with an explanation and a disclaimer. So for those of you who may be new or just don't know, our youngest son, Shane, was diagnosed with ulcerative colitis in October of 2016 now, and he's doing great, knock on wood. Everything's wonderful. He's, uh, his symptoms are mostly controlled by medicine, but before he was released from the hospital, his doctors had been keeping up on the latest research, and they have seen some studies that suggest that a gluten-free diet and a very limited dairy diet, almost dairy-free, is very beneficial to not just ulcerative colitis patients, but really anyone who suffers from any kind of autoimmune disease. And the reasoning behind this, and none of this is really proven hard fact-wise by science yet, but it seems to be working, so we're gonna go with it. The theory is that all, uh, all autoimmune diseases are in some way triggered by inflammation in the body. And there is enough research to show that gluten triggers inflammation. So in, we don't want Shane to have a flare-up. Flare-ups end up, you go to the hospital, he could lose his colon. That's not good. The other reason specifically for ulcerative colitis and more so gluten than anything is that they have found that the lack of gluten in your body, in your intestines, makes it a hostile environment for bacteria that do trigger inflammation or do trigger flare-ups. I think I'm saying this right. This is how the doctors have explained it to me. So when we are gluten-free in my house, it's not because we have anyone here has a gluten allergy. Nobody's going to have an adverse, horrible reaction if we eat something that has gluten in it. So for us, we look at the ingredients. It doesn't have to be certified gluten-free. It doesn't have to be made in a factory that has no gluten in it. Shane doesn't have any allergies, so it won't ultimately hurt him if he has some gluten here or there. But it has proven to be very beneficial to his diet, so much so that at his last blood test, his gastroenterologist said that if he didn't know better, he would say Shane does not have ulcerative colitis. So things are going well. That being said, I would like to introduce you to some of our favorite gluten-free, mostly, but not completely, dairy-free foods. Also, I should say, this is geared towards a teenage boy. So, you know, who plays football, who's very active, who can't keep weight on. So I might not necessarily advocate eating all these things if that doesn't fit your or mine personal diet. First thing, Ben and Jerry's uh, non-dairy frozen dessert is what it's called. It's ice cream. Shane's particular favorite is the Cherry Garcia. Um, we just get this at a regular grocery store. They have a variety of options. I forgot to mention, dairy-free is also possibly linked to um, those irritants and inflammation, less so than gluten, and for some reason, all of his doctors are okay with him having Greek yogurt because of the probiotics that are in it. Go figure. So we use Greek yogurt a lot around here. It's a substitute for many, many things. And we usually just get our HEB, our house brand at the grocery store. Okay, another frozen item. Shane has this a lot, like we go through a lot of these. And I should say, not inexpensive. Um, this is by the brand Kinikinik, right? Kinikinik Foods, frozen donuts. Um, these are chocolate, they have powdered sugar, and they have glazed as well. And you just microwave them for like 30 seconds. and. Um, they're quite delicious. I, well, Shane says they're quite delicious. I've not tried these. Let's stick with the, not quite dairy-free, but low dairy. The cheese that we use is the Go Veggie brand. We've tried the Daya brand. I'm not a fan. Shane hates it. So this lactose-free Go Veggie, um, they make, this is the cheddar one. They have a, like a taco blend one. They have the shredded Parmesan. They have Gouda. There's all American cheese. There's all kinds. Um, we've run this by his doctors and they're fine with this brand. So this is what we use. And I find that I can cook with this better than the Daya brand. Daya is D-A-I-Y-A. -A. Although I didn't grab it because we just ran out of it. And that the Daya um, salad dressings are what we use because Shane likes ranch and Caesar, and obviously those are normally dairy. So, all right, moving on to bread, or I like to call it faux bread. Our favorite brand in general is this Char brand. Um, this is a baguette. I use this to make garlic bread, uh, it, you know, with my dairy-free butter, which isn't really butter. Um, when I say things like butter or cheese, let's just, it's not dairy. 
but it's better than saying fake butter or faux or whatever. So the Char brand, they make this baguette. We're big fans of their ciabatta buns, their hamburger buns, their white loaf bread. There is another brand of gluten-free bread that I have gotten at Sam's Club and Walmart that I also really like. I've only seen the, the white loaf bread. I can't remember the name, it's like something mountain. I will list that in the description box and put it across here so that that's another one that's easily found and um, quite tasty. That one is my preference for sandwich bread. Okay, the one thing Shane misses more than anything is ramen noodles. Not the healthiest choice, I know, but he loves ramen. So what I've been able to find are these gluten-free, it's by the brand Kami or Kame, I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's their Pad Thai Express rice noodles. They're gluten-free and I did buy the regular ramen and I used the little seasoning packets to make the broth and then put these noodles inside and you just microwave these noodles for 90 seconds and they're good to go. There's a pack of two. They just microwave in a little pack. These I've tried, these are very tasty. Speaking of noodles and pasta, we're big pasta fans here. We, I like cooking with pasta, it's just easy and I'm gonna make no excuses for it. I enjoy easy. So these, I'm actually making these um, later this week. It's the Racanto, I think is the brand. Potato gnocchi, it says gluten-free. There is, a, they make a version that's not gluten-free. So make sure you get the gluten-free one. They're potato gnocchi. I just make these, if I'm in a real quick hurry, I'm gonna, I just boil them up and make them with some tomato sauce, marinara sauce. This week I'm trying a recipe. Well, actually by the time you see this, I've already made it. It's a, uh, like a loaded baked potato recipe using the gnocchi instead of baked potato. So that's kind of fun. They're very tasty. Our favorite pasta, and we have gone through a bunch of options. Shane's a little bit picky. He wants it to look and taste like normal pasta. It's this brand Ronzoni. They make gluten-free. This is the Rotini. They make a bunch of shapes and things like that. Again, none of this is special order. All this is just in my regular grocery store. Um, this is a great brand. You will never know. Like I make this for Jake when he comes home from college, my older son, if you don't know, is away at school. And he's always a little finicky about the gluten-free stuff. I have passed, this is passed by him. He has no idea it is gluten-free. Back to noodles. This is, so regular soy sauce apparently has gluten in it. I don't know why. Um, this is by the brand Sanjay and it is tamare, tamara, tamari, tamari. I don't know. Gluten-free soy sauce, certified gluten-free. So you can still have soy sauce. It's just, it tastes just like soy sauce. I use it all the time. I make fried rice. This is what I put on top of it. If you are dairy intolerant, there is some dairy in here. Um, very, very little, but a little bit. And, but if you're, if you're just only worrying about gluten-free so far, this has been the best, um, flour substitute that I have found. It's by the brand Cup for Cup. It's the multi-purpose flour. It's gluten-free. They carry it at my grocery store. I first saw it at Target. Um, I do also order it from Amazon. I think this is the one that I ordered from Amazon because on Amazon you can get bigger bags of it, like three pounds, five pounds, et cetera. I think it's only two pounds that I found in the grocery store. What is this? Yeah, this is the Amazon one. So I bake all, everything with this. Now you can't really bake bread, like real bread that rises with this, but I've made my banana bread, I anything that calls for flour, like if you're thickening something or you're breading with flour, like chicken cutlets or whatever, this is what I reach for. I love this stuff, it's great. Um, another thing I use for baking is the Bisquick gluten-free pancake and baking mix. We eat a lot of pancakes around here. I've, you know, like I said, teenage boy, lots of boys sleep over. This is the go-to breakfast when we have sleepovers here. And it's kind of funny to see all these big football players chowing down on gluten-free pancakes and they have no idea that it's gluten-free. Just a little tip, I make this with, instead of regular milk, well, we don't have regular milk, but instead of unflavored almond milk, I make it with my vanilla almond milk. It's like my little secret ingredient and it makes it really good. Uh, Shane's not a big breakfast guy, but um, a couple things that he, he preferred to eat the donuts, but a few things that I wanted to point out if you're not aware, not all Cheerios, but a few of the Cheerios are gluten-free. You just gotta look for the gluten-free symbol. Chocolate Cheerios, actually these are Michael's, not Shane's, but um, these are um, a big hit. And almost, I don't wanna say all, but I think almost all the Chex cereals. This one's almost empty. This is the Honey Nut Chex, but the Vanilla Chex, the Chocolate Chex, the Rice Chex, the Corn Chex, all the Chexes, gluten-free. Look, it says so in huge letters, very helpful. So those are some easy cereals. Now let's talk about snacks. Snacks are kind of big around here. 
teenagers. I personally, this is me, this is my personal favorite. I love this brand, Enjoy Life. Their soft baked chocolate chip cookies are my favorite and the snickerdoodles are a close second. Uh, they're very, if you like crispy, you're not gonna like these. These are soft baked, very good. I wanted to show you this cookie because I don't have the package anymore and it's taking a lot of willpower not to just take a bite out of this. These are by the brand Glutino and these are their vanilla cream Basically, they're like Oreos, but they're vanilla cream. They also make the regular looking Oreo type, but um, we've converted over to the vanilla. Like everyone's addicted to these. This is why I'm gaining all my weight back because of these freaking cookies, but they're very good and I, I recommend them. And speaking of Glutino, we get a lot of Glutino stuff. They make these bagel chips. We use these in soups in place of crackers and they're quite tasty. I have been known to just spread some cream cheese on them. I still eat real cream cheese and they're very delicious. So I forgot to mention these earlier. This goes in Shane's lunch every day. He just kind of eats through it. He's allowed to eat at school throughout the day to kind of keep his weight up. And this is what he's, he eats three of these a day. I get these at Sam's Club, this big box. They do carry them in the regular grocery stores in the normal size package, but this is the Nature Valley Protein Chewy Bars. It's peanut butter, dark chocolate. And it says in very large letters right here, gluten-free. So like these. Okay, here's an example of where we're not looking for the certified gluten-free, but the ingredients prove that it is gluten-free. These are the HEB version, so that's my grocery store, the generic version of baked Lay's. These are just baked. Literally, they're just called baked. But they're baked potato chips, so it's the generic version of the um, baked Lay's. The real brand of baked Lay's actually says gluten-free across it. That is made in a certified gluten-free environment. These are not in a certified gluten-free environment, but I went ingredient by ingredient and these are the exact same thing for half the price. So check your ingredients and if you're not allergic, there are sometimes mm. options. Now these he can have in a limited amount because there's a tiny bit of milk in here. I think these are more for Michael because Michael's trying to be very gluten-free. Yeah, I'm thinking Michael. These are the Cheetos, baked, baked Cheetos, and these are gluten-free as well. I love these. I'm trying hard not to eat one. These do taste just like the real ones, so that's good. If you have some picky eaters. This is my downfall right here. The Snyder's brand makes a gluten-free pretzel. Uh, they make a few options, but my favorite are the honey mustard ones. Honey mustard and onion, so good. And gluten-free, dairy-free, casein-free, egg-free, all kinds of free but not free of flavor, which is important. These, oh my gosh, okay. Not only is Shane in love with these, all of his friends come over here and clear out my cabinet. So we always have a lot of these around. This is the Pocky brand. These are like the healthier version of Doritos. Their favorite one is the Wild Ranch. They also make the Dorito orange flavor. I don't know what you call that. They make a ghost pepper one, which unless you are insane, do not eat. We got those and I did not try them, but no one could eat one. Um, they're very spicy. So this is the uh, flavor of choice at the Goldberg house. We live in Texas. Mexican food is a staple around here. I should say Tex-Mex. And while most corn tortilla chips because they're corn, are gluten-free. We like to sometimes make sure, and so the On The Border brand, where's my, oh, my finger's covering it, is gluten-free. I have tried all of them. They have the kind that are like the Tostito scoops, but they are not as strong as the Tostito scoops, so don't depend on those to scoop out stuff. They'll fall apart. Just stick with these. These are the cafe style. I can't speak for their salsa, but their chips are very, very good. We go through at least probably a bag a week in a variety of things. Speaking of Mexican food, we do make tacos a lot around here. It's just an easy, I'm not gonna make excuses. That's just what we eat. If you don't like it, you're not invited for dinner. Um, this is the old El Paso brand. I like these taco shells because do you see how they're flat on the bottom? You can literally stand them up and fill them up with whatever you want and gluten-free. Now, like I said, aren't all corn tortilla based things gluten-free? Probably, but if I'm feeling lazy and I don't wanna read the ingredient list, I like to look for that. And I forgot one more thing. Actually, two more things. One I don't have to show you, it's in the freezer outside. Foster Farms, this is gonna turn some of your stomachs, it turns mine. Foster Farms makes a corn dog, a honey battered corn dog, frozen corn dog, that is gluten free. Ugh. Shane loves them, he eats like three at a time. So like on the weekends or as a snack in between when he comes home from school and dinner. They're out in my garage freezer. Um, they're a recent release, he gives it a thumbs up. 
I can also tell you they cook well in an air fryer, which I'm still working on deciding if I, I like it in concept. That's a whole different video, but I like how food comes out of an air fryer. We just got one that's not, you can't cook more than like two chicken breasts at a time. So it's good for snacks. I think I need to invest in a big one. All right. And my final thing, again, this is more for like, you know, teenage boys. I have not personally tried these. This is from the brand Golden Platter All Natural. They're gluten-free breaded chicken patties. They also make like little nuggets and chicken tenders. And if you have young kids, I mean, my kids lived on chicken nuggets. So I know if you have a young child and you're dealing with this, they just want to be like all the other kids, you can make them chicken nuggets. And this is all natural, fully cooked breast meat, hundred percent all natural, no hormones added, no preservatives, gluten-free, no hormones, blah, 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 fully cooked white breast meat. And these turn out really nice. So another great, more like a snacky weekend thing. This isn't really something we make for dinner. So those are our faves that we reach for. I would love to hear from all of you. If you follow any kind of gluten-free or dairy-free or dairy limited diet, if there's anything you recommend, especially geared towards a, you know, growing 16, 17 year old boy, that is always helpful. I hope you found this helpful. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.